is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are diving into some brand new wwe action figure fix-ups for you guys you guys did not know if you guys remember just a few days back we did have some brand new reveals to us on wwe.com with the photo album and everything we had some new legends we had some new royal rumble elites we had all these different things going on and so i figured you know every time we get a bunch of reveals i always get the head spinning get the gears turning in my brain and we try to come up with some brand new wwe action figure fix-ups that you guys may want to do when these figures are finally released to us. So I figured we could go through today, dive into the new figures, and showcase some of the things that I think would be really cool swaps. And maybe these will come to fruition on action figure surgery or something of that nature in the future. You know, maybe we can make those things happen. But let's go ahead and start off, man. Let's start off with the basic wave. Now, I will be honest with you, Brad. I do not really care for this new basic wave that we got to see. You know, with the Isaiah Swerve Scott, the Jeff Hardy, the Rock figure... I don't know, man. Not really feeling the basics. I feel like basics just get worse and worse every time I see them. However, man, this Jeff Hardy figure, while, you know, the face paint isn't perfect and it's not the best printed and, you know, it doesn't completely cover the face all the way, which is, seems to be a struggle. If you take this new Jeff Hardy basic head sculpt and you were to put it onto an Elite, I think you'd have some pretty good stuff here. So the first one that I came up with would be the Elite 71 with the pink sleeves. I think that would be a really cool fix-up. I think he came with two interchangeable heads on that figure that had black and white face paint. So we kind of know that the vibe already works there. I think that could be a pretty cool fix-up. If you didn't want to use the Elite 71, you could also use the Entrance Greats figure, which I think is probably my favorite choice just because you have the white and black sleeves black tank top would tie perfectly into the black and white face paint of the Jeff Hardy basic so I think that's a really beautiful fix up that's probably my favorite out of the three elites that I would choose and the last elite which I just said you know we, we have one more choice here would be the elite 75 I think the white tank top with the paint and stuff would look really good with this face paint. You're kind of mixing eras and stuff like that, but again, if you're trying to do this in a pick fed or you just want, you know, a cool Jeff Hardy fix up, this is one that I think would look really sick too. So, Elite 75, Elite 71, or the Entrance Greats, I don't think you can go wrong with any of those. And the uh, Entrance Greats would probably be my first choice, I think. Next up, guys, we do have the Jimmy Hart build a figure. Now, I'm going to have to go after multiple, whatever figure comes with the jacket, I, I don't have it right here in front of me. Whatever figure comes with the jacket, going to have to grab two of those. Because I want one of these jackets, not only for my figure, but I think you could also do some really cool guys in suited bodies, you know. We could do a Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is just the first one that comes to my brain. Of course, we do have the AEW jacket, you know, Amazon exclusive Chris Jericho coming. But if you wanted to make another Jericho in Mattel Elite form, you could do that with the pink jacket. You could put literally anybody in a suit. You could put them in this pink suit. So, you know, even if you didn't want to use these legs, maybe the legs are too small, all you have to do is switch the arms and jacket with a different Build-A-Figure, and it will completely work. So, so I'm going to definitely do that with my figure, and hopefully the, it'll look really, really sick. I'm probably going to put some, like, glitter or something on it as well, trying to give it an extra vibe there and trying to pop it off. But we will have to see about that. But the pink jacket is really sick, and uh, it's been a long time since we got a Jimmy Hart, so, yeah, I think it works. Next up, guys, we're diving into the Big E Elite. Now, for this one, I'm not a big fan of the head sculpt, and I would say if you didn't want the Xavier Woods armband, which probably wouldn't match the attire, you know, because the Xavier Woods armband, you know, ties into the Xavier Woods Get Well Soon attire. You could switch those if you didn't like it. However, I would say take the boots off of this guy and put on his yellow boots from his USA Elite. I think that'd be really dope because you have some yellows tying in right there. I think that would be a really cool one. Uh, I did a boot swap on the recent Elite Big E and then the USA gear and it was beautiful. You guys remember that surgery episode? That was probably like some of the simplest switches always make for beautiful fix-ups. So that may be one you want to try and I would highly suggest that for Kofi as well. Doing just simple feet swaps makes a whole brand new vibe to a figure and it's pretty insane which is why I love surgery so much. Next up guys we have the four-wheeler. You have the four-wheeler playset of the Wrecking Four-Wheeler Slam ATV Off-Road Fury 3. Big E concept right here and I think that if you were to take this four-wheeler, you know the biggest thing with the these WWE Mattel playsets is they don't really have a bunch of likeness like to real life like they're missing a lot of details because you know they're just flat plastic you know they're they're kind of a cheap material there so if you were to spray paint the whole thing black and then add some dry brush details of white and silver gunmetal gray things like that you could turn this into the Austin 316 full wheeler or you could do something like that even if you just painted it black I think it would look a whole lot better or just a different kind of red maybe 
if it was just like a flatter red. I just feel like it looks a bit cheap when you have this bright and shiny red. And so you could do this with any of the vehicles, but it just stuck out to me immediately for, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin with his four-wheeler on WWE television. So that's probably what I'm going to do, and I think that would be really sick to touch that up. Maybe we can make a whole video out of that, or maybe that'll be a special, you know, action figure surgery episode where we have the four-wheeler on there with the Stone Cold Steve Austin, you know, converting that vehicle or maybe another vehicle as well. So we'll just have to see about that, but that's the first thing that came to my mind when I saw the four-wheeler, and I think it would add a whole new aesthetic to it. I don't know why you just wouldn't release this thing in black with the Austin 316 on it with an Austin figure in camo shorts or something. How sick would that have been? I don't know. I, I feel like that would have been a lot better and probably even sold better. I'm not sure. Next up, guys, we have the Austin head swap for the battle pack. You have the Austin head swap with Kane figure, you know, the little battle pack here. Not big on the battle packs, but this head sculpt's really good. It's kind of a bit, it's like a slightly different version or variation of his Royal Rumble Elite, which was a tad oversized anyway, but I don't know if they shrunk it or not, but if you were to put this on a figure or a Stone Cold Steve Austin, I think it'd look really nice, and it reminds me a lot of the Jax figure. So if you wanted to put this on any of the Elites of the Austin, I think you wouldn't go wrong with any of them, but it really, really reminds me of the Jax Austin, just because, or that specific Jax Austin, that had the darker beard on it because it just looks like that head sculpt. I don't, I don't really know what to say there, but that's just the first thing that came into my mind. You guys can let me know if you see it or not, but I think the Jax Austin looks a lot like this head sculpt that we're getting on this new battle pack. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Triple H Legends figure. Now, this one right here is sick AF, man. I, I really like this Triple H head sculpt, but if you wanted to pop on the Elite 23 head sculpt, which is a whole nother deal, this Legends figure is essentially a re-release of the Elite 23 just completely updated. You know, it's been so long ago that they, you know, it has double jointed arms, interchangeable hands, cloth goods. It comes with the same helmet and the same speaker but it, it, you know, it updated in a lot of different ways. It also has true effects, and that's a whole nother deal right there. Isn't that just insane to even think about? But you can switch it with the basic smiling Triple H head sculpt as well with the long hair. There's a lot of different things you can play around with, but I love the gear up under here. I've been waiting for this Elite. They haven't shown official images of it just yet, but it is the beautiful DX gear, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what we got, and I cannot wait to see it in full figure form, but this Triple H is a really sick figure. You could head swap it, put a different head sculpt on there, use this Triple H head sculpt on other Triple H's. It's going to be a whole new thing. I, I cannot wait to see these in store. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Legends with Legends Jake the Snake. So you guys know that we have the old Jake the Snake Legends figure. If you were to just head swap it with the new Jake the Snake, it just depends. You know, if you want that newer head sculpt on the old figure or you want the older head sculpt on the new figure, you could do either one or we could just do a complete, you know, head swap there. He got the Chase variant in both Legends series, which is crazy, but that is a pretty cool uh, little head swap you could do right there. Personally, I think it's weird because I feel like that newer head head sculpt or on the newer figure it kind of looks cartoony kind of like old school Mattel because it is that's an older head sculpt but the newer one I think has a more realistic look to it so it's just kind of whichever one you think fits better for Jake the Snake even though I feel like the overall likeness may look more like the cartoony I don't know I just think that a head swap with those would look really good and hopefully it would pan out all right staying in our legends line man we have Hurricane right here and for him I would just say head swap cape swap, boot swap with the Elite 75. You know, you have the Elite 75 Hurricane. You can kind of morph it there. If you want the shorter head sculpt with this different gear with the sleeveless and the dual sleeves, you could really, you know, do that. I know that that's not necessarily accurate, but you could, you know, it could give you a whole new vibe for your Hurricane figure, switching the, you know, more of the, you know, the older with the new, you know, getting the long hair on the older attire, short hair on the older attire, all that different stuff. So, you, you know, just play around with that, switch the capes, do all these different things. That can make for a really fun fix up or you know make some hybrid hurricane figures and then at the end of the day man if you really wanted to switch out these lower legs and switch them with xbox elite i think that would look good as well those solid black kick pads with the green outlines would look sick on the new hurricane legends figure we'll have to play around with that i know he has johnny gargano syndrome so that'll fix that as well it may uh make him a little bit too tall or it may shorten him up a bit i can't remember which one it does but i think it'll still look good regardless so doesn't really it doesn't bother me that much i think that the kick pads will look good on the figure regardless Regardless. And then the last figure that I have that's WWE Elite, I also have a couple AEW figures in here, so stay tuned. The last WWE figure that we have, guys, is going to be the Bob Legends figure right here, guys. And all I'm going to say is just take the vest and put it on some different guys. You know, you have that really nice cloth vest with the with the lasso, not the lassos, the tassels on the back of the vest that you could put on a lot of different figures. You can even put it on Adam Page, so there's another one right there. And then you also have the black boxing gloves, which could go on a bunch of different figures. You could make different boxers, you could make different things there. 
Uh, just a lot of the, the sky's the limit on that. Just getting that boxing mold out there is going to be huge for collectors to make fix-ups and customs and stuff like that. So that is really cool that we're getting that into the main elite line there. You know, we had the two-pack with uh, Mr. T and Roddy Piper, but that's not just one that you're going to see all the time. And I have a feeling that this Bob Orton is probably going to shelf form a little bit, so you may be able to pick up those boxing gloves, do some different things with it, and that should be pretty cool there. Now, diving into our last two guys, it's going to be the brand new AEW and Rival Collection Series number 7 Young Bucks. So you have the, uh, the, the, the Series 1 head sculpts, or the Series 1 Nick Jackson head sculpt, and then you have the Series 3 Matt Jackson head sculpt. They're just repainted here. I would say putting the Series 3 Nick Jackson and head sculpt onto this newer one would look a lot better. It still has the gold elite on the headband, and I like this head sculpt more, and you could just either paint the purple, you know, the headband purple, or just leave it, because he has black, purple, yellowish gold onto the attire, so the gold on the elite headband I don't think would stand out, and it has black in the headband anyway. I don't think that would be a huge issue, and then the Series 1B Matt Jackson head sculpt would look a lot better on this figure, simply because I just don't like the, the yelling Matt Jackson, man. I just am not a fan of it. I don't like the way it looks kind of bothers me a little bit there so that's a whole nother one in itself and I think that would be a really sick fix up as well and, and you know create a whole vibe there need more of that series one B Matt Jackson just for fix ups and stuff because I'm not feeling the yelling head sculpts right now man I don't know what it is I'm just not feeling them but I think that wraps up our new WWE AEW figure fix ups that I want to do I think that's pretty much going to wrap up our fix ups for today man I feel like I should have done this when the when the wave just dropped but it actually hit me out of nowhere that I forgot to do it and so every time we get big reveals, I always try to make a video like this about that and try to give you ideas for future fix-ups that you may want to do on your figures that we're getting this year, man. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know if you like any of these fix-ups. Maybe you saw some of the reveals and you have your own fix-ups or ideas that come to your brain. You know, I'm just one man just trying to put together some fix-ups. Sometimes Dr. Whitekiss forgets about some stuff or, may, you know, something may slip through the cracks or go over his head when he doesn't need, you know, he doesn't necessarily nail it because I'm thinking of fix-ups constantly, so I may miss it. So let me know all of that stuff down in the comment section below, man. But I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much, and don't cross the line like uh, the old arm articulation on that new Big E. That's freaking. I mean, that is just upsetting. You cross the line. I've been.